Um, this, this is not even This is, we're going totally out of the spectrum here. It's from Yang to Yang. Give it up for Mr. Chris Biggs. Hello, folks. My name is Chris Biggs. And I have been with my wife for over 20 years, and we have four kids together. Thank you. This week actually is 24 years, but I think I'm still going to say 20 years because when I look into her eyes, I can tell she at least wants four years to take back. Uh, I don't think she'd use the word regret, but just kind of questioning some of her life choices. Because uh, marriage is a lot of trial and error, and with the amount of errors that I make, I am on trial a lot. <laughs> Like, and let me tell you, the prosecutor has a 100% conviction rate. It is incredible. I mean, like, like Johnny Cochran's down there looking up going, oh, I lucked out that I went and didn't have to face her. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. But, but a lot of it's, 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 you know, at this point, the reason why it's, I'm just trying to end the fight. You know, I just want it over. Because the faster I can get this fight over, the more we can get back to to doing things that, that we both like to do. Because um, we have four kids for a reason, and it's not because we like to argue with miniature versions of ourselves. Um, you know, and so it's like, okay, uh, how quickly can I get back to that? Because like, if I prolong this fight, like what am I gonna do, ask for a jury trial? Like, because a jury of my peers is going to include her mother, her sister, and her best friend every single time. Like, on the off chance that one of my buddies is included, it's always with his wife standing right next to him, staring at him, trying to see what side he's going to be on. Yeah. I don't blame him for sending me up the river. So, like, it's like, okay. And what am I going to, what am I going to get out of prolonging this fight? I'm going to be right? I don't want to be right. I was right once. It was miserable. Because you, if you're right, that means she's wrong. And you're not going to get back to things until you processed, until she's processed all seven stages of grief here. Like that shock of, oh my gosh, this is the first time I've ever been wrong. All the way, she does skip the bargaining step. You know, I don't ever get any deals out of this. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, I mean, so, so it's, it's uh, you know, if you prolong this fight just to be right, you know, what are you going to get out of it? Um, there, it's a really a question of how long can you go without, right? And I can tell you the longest I've gone, six weeks. Oh, no. Because that's how long doctors say a woman needs to recover after having a child. <laughs> Those first two weeks are easy because you've seen some stuff. <laughs> You're processing some trauma that she went through stuff too. But like I, <laughs> if you don't want to see stuff, you need to tell the doctor really early because they walked in with just the doctor and the nurse and apparently somebody has to hold each leg. And I was hoping like maybe like the doctor would hold one leg and the nurse would hold the other and they could like angle my wife so that she could catch the baby herself. Because I'm telling you, there was only one person crying in that room and it was not the baby. My daughter came out going, you need to man up. Yeah, so those first two weeks are easy. Weeks three and four though, you're like, okay. I'll probably be able to get back to this. You know, there's millions of people out there that have multiple children. Weeks five and six, you start to question how good of a medical school that doctor went to. Like, you become an anti-vaxxer real fast. You're like, what does Joe Rogan have to say about how long a woman needs? No. Yeah, I'm glad that... that Speaking of that, I'm glad COVID's over, though, because I was really judgmental on other people's relationships. Like, a buddy of mine would come to me, he's like, hey, yeah, my wife has COVID. I was like, oh, well, then you do, too. He's like, no, 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 I didn't. I was like, how? What is 
not going on in your bedroom that you don't have COVID. And so, because I'll tell you what happened when my wife got COVID. Like, you know, you get those two days when you're sick and you know, you're like, okay, stay away. But like after that, it's just a cough and you're like, and I went in the bedroom and my wife's like, whoa, 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 I'm contagious. And I'm like, hey, I remember our vows. <laughs> in sickness and in health. What's yours is mine and mine is yours. You know? And besides, maybe we need to like get Aaron Rodgers' opinion about this. <laughs> hey, my name is Chris Bates. Thank you very much. You don't have any besides kids. Uh, any no. advice for Vlad? Any advice for Mr. Vladimir? Uh, so, so in, in comedy or in just first really? Time, was just, yeah, that was an amazing first time. It was great. Uh, and then uh, just keep getting your life screwed up so you have stuff to talk about. I mean, yeah, man. The, yeah. the, more, the worse your life is, you almost got me. I almost cussed. Him. <laughs> <laughs> the worse your life is. <laughs> Better your jokes. Chris is so fucking yeah. clean. <laughs> he wants to get hit by another fucking bus when he wants, to, wants to a bigger car next time. <laughs> Keep it going, Mr. Chris Biggs. Yeah. 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 All right, we're almost, we're almost through here. I appreciate you guys for sticking around.